Sharks, as apex predators, they maintain the health of the Red Sea environment, of the marine species. HEPCA has worked in the, for the protection of sharks in the Red Sea for over a decade. We've campaigned to set laws that forbid shark finning, shark sales, shark export, and even the possession of any shark or any part of a shark. I would say that a lot of the tourists, especially a lot of the diving tourists, are coming to the Red Sea uh, because they want to have a chance to meet sharks underwater. Especially for oceanic white-tip sharks, I guess the Red Sea now is pretty much established as the place to go to have a chance to meet them. Especially when it comes to the marine parks like Brothers and Daedalus, I would say that the motivation of most of the people that are actually booking trips to go out there is because they want to see big stuff, big pelagics, sharks, these sharks being quite long-lived, that means they just continuously motivate people to come so a living shark over its lifespan um, can basically bring in huge amounts of money for the tourism sector or for the country. We cannot have a shark-free Red Sea. We cannot have a shark-free Ras Muhammad Park. What's happening now, and I insist to describe it this way, is a criminal insanity. It has to be stopped immediately. The scientific institutes that are involved in getting all these sharks out of the water randomly should feel ashamed because what's happening right now is a massacre and we will definitely stop it. We were shocked when we got the news from, or the report that we received from some of our members in the south concerning the, uh, the Yemeni fishing boats. We were very impressed with the uh, quick reaction of the Egyptian Navy and the Coast Guard handling with the situation. We were very happy also to see that all these boats were arrested. The amount of effort that was exerted by the members, HEPCA, all the community in the south and the authorities was really impressive. Managing to corner these boats, five or six of these boats, throughout the whole Southern Red Sea and get them in 72 hours, uh, we were very pleased with what happened. This example of, this, of these Yemeni fishing boats is a great example of how different members of the community came together and stood together to stop such a savage act. It was safari boats such as the one we're on, which is the RV Red Sea Defender, Hepka's research vessel, that spotted uh, these Yemeni boats and led the authorities to capture them. They saved dozens of sharks and are heroes to us all here in the Red Sea. We thank them very much and we hope that all our members continue to be this effective in the protection of our environment.